Now, robot vacuums have been out for some time now, but this could be one of the best to date. Let's take a closer look. Remember to hit the red button to subscribe and click the notification bell to get my next video first. Now I've had a robot vacuum for a couple of years now, but one big problem with it was that the language was in German and I couldn't change the programming of it. So when this got sent to me from Amory, I was really pleased because now I can finally have a robot vacuum which I can understand what it's saying. I have learned the phrase Vorsprachen has begun, which means charging has begun, but that's about it. But this is a really smart looking vacuum from Amory. It's definitely better looking than the previous model and in terms of the build quality and all of the fittings, it just feels like it's more premium and it's built to last. Now I'm gonna show you the underneath in a second and you'll get an idea that even things like the wheels, this almost feels like an all terrain vacuum if there could be such a thing. Now, I'm sure you've seen most of these robot vacuums do operate a similar type of look. They're the round, they've got the cartridge which fills with the dust and the debris, and then you've got the brush which sucks that up, and you've got the wheels. Now, one of the big differences with this was the size of the wheels. I was really impressed. Now, as with many of these, you do have also the little brushes which you can attach on the side, and that's designed to pull in the rubbish or the dust and debris into the path of the circular brush which then rotates and then it gets sucked into the vacuum and then collects in that cartridge which I showed you. So it's very, very straightforward. And it's a method which I can vouch for the one that I've had previously, it worked the same way, it definitely seems to work very well. There's an on-off switch underneath and then you can turn it on and get it set up very easily. And one of the big differences between this model and my previous model is the underneath. Certainly there's things like a very good suspension, so it lifts it up quite high off the ground and that means that you can go over a lot of different obstacles and the wheels themselves are very, very rugged and will literally go over pretty much anything. I've got a mixture of rugs, hard floors and also there's chairs in, in the way which have got little almost like metal legs and it will roll over those no problem at all. This is the brush underneath and that rotates and this is the directional point which obviously changes the direction. All you need to do is turn it on underneath and then you set it up via the app. So I think over the last couple of years, connecting a device like this has become a lot more straightforward. Now, whether that's because we are a little bit more familiar with doing that or whether the whole process is just easier, but this was an absolute breeze. Once I installed the app, I just had to allow it to connect to Bluetooth and then you can choose whether you get notifications or not. And then you need to go in and create an account. Now, this is just literally a name and an email. You don't need to put in any other personal information, so don't worry about that. Now, once you've done that you can confirm that the blinking uh, Wi-Fi symbol is doing that and then you can connect to your Wi-Fi network very straightforward and then it runs through that connecting process and then when it gets to 100% it should just come up to say yes it's connected once you've done that you can see that it's completed if you want to you can change the name of the device and I'll come on to that a little bit later but you can now control the device with the app but I'm also going to show you a little bit later about how you can connect to Alexa now one of the nice things in the app is that you do get this map effect which shows you everywhere where it's been and so if you do get an area which has been missed off then you're going to know about it. But I found the way that this maneuvered around objects was a definitely a lot more intelligent than my previous model. My previous model sometimes just kept on hitting and hitting and hitting and eventually it would get it. This seems with its SLAM mapping system, which is a 145 degree navigation sensor, it seems to be able to learn a lot more about where it needs to go and where it hasn't been. And when it does detect that it needs to move, as you can see like this, it then does it very, very simply indeed. There are four different cleaning modes. There's auto, spot, edge, and schedule. Now this is doing the edge where it works around the edge of the room, and then eventually it will start going into the middle. Now, I did do a long exposure photograph showing the edge working, and as you can see, even when I put obstacles in the way, you can see the light on the top is what's being picked up, and that's the blue that you can see. It literally goes into every nook and cranny. Now, another feature I really like, and this can help you, is 
schedule. So you can set a schedule for this to clean while you're sleeping. So at 1 a.m. in the morning, for instance, every day of the week, I can set this to go on. Now, one thing to be careful of, guys, I did hear about a story where somebody's dog did a mess in the floor and it got spread all around the house in the middle of the night. So do be careful about something like that happening. Now, when this does run out of charge, it will literally just return to the dock, and again, it's brilliant. You can then recharge it and go again. As you can see, the cartridge has absolutely collected a bag full. It is incredible how much. I didn't think in this one room there was that much around. I do have a Springer Spaniel and she does molt a lot, but boy, I was really surprised. You do also have different suction modes so it can get more powerful. Turn on Cooper. Okay. So you can also control your robot vacuum by using a third party app, which is Tuya, and it will then allow you to connect your Google Assistant or your Amazon Assistant and then schedule your cleaning that way. Turn off Cooper. Okay. I'm returning to dock for charging. And when you ask it to turn it off, it will also send it back to the dock. Now the vacuum will talk to you and Hi, give you very I'm clear good. instructions or clear advice as to what it's doing. I am ready now. Start auto cleaning. And just like a little lost puppy, it will tell you when there's a problem. I am suspended in the air. This is also very smart, but it does have technology which will stop it from falling downstairs, for instance. But it also does come with this rubber little barrier strip, which you can then block off areas and it won't then go past there, those areas. Now, I don't need those in my house, but for instance, if you didn't want it to go near pets or where the pets were sleeping, for instance, then it would stop before it got to those. Now, this retails for $349.99 in the UK. I think it's a similar price in US dollars, but I will leave all the links in the description for you to check it out for yourself. But guys, I have been absolutely mightily impressed, not only with the intelligent navigational system, but with the extra power this seems to have and the amount of debris and rubbish it's picking up. So if you've been considering getting a robot vacuum, then this is the next level of intelligent vacuum available. All the links are in the description for you to check it out for yourself. As always, my friends, thanks very much for watching this video, and I will see you on the next one.